welcome back to my video. So as you can see by the title, we'll be talking about 10 things that you can do to stay busy during this quarantine time. So I've been sitting in the house. I've been trying to stay busy with the 10 things that I'm going to list here. But prior to that, I was looking at TV, watching Netflix, catching up on shows that I wasn't able to watch because I was working so much. And I've caught up on everything. I've even watched a couple of new shows and honestly looking at TV has gotten old very quickly. So I was thinking why not make a video and help everyone else who may be tired of looking at TV just like I am. Before I get into the 10 things that you can do during quarantine, I do want us to just kind of, I do want us to realize the beauty of quarantine and that we actually have a chance in life to focus on ourselves instead of going to work. It's so nice to just come home, be at home, not have to wake up to any alarms. You can just sleep as long as you want. You can wake up. You can focus, hone in on the goals that you would like to achieve, anything like that. It's just so much better to just be able to focus on yourself because honestly, we're not on this earth to just pay bills and die. That's that's not the purpose. Also, another thing that I want to mention about sitting at home, which is extremely great, is that you don't have to worry about FOMO, fear of missing out, because everyone is sitting at home. So this is the perfect opportunity to work on yourself without feeling like, oh, I wish I was in Greece because people in Greece are still partying, having fun. No they're on lockdown too. People in St. Thomas are in lockdown. People in Bali, people in Japan, everyone is on lockdown. So that is the best part I have to say because me personally, I am somebody who will go on social media and see one of my friends in a different place having a great time. And now, oh my gosh, I hate it here because I can't do anything when the blessing is you are not missing out on nothing. Everybody is sitting in the house. So if we're all sitting in the house, we all have a chance to grow. We're not missing out on any parties. All the clubs are shut down. There's no reason to be sad because everything's shut down. You're not missing out on nothing. So that is the ultimate beauty for me is that I'm not missing out on nothing. All the flights are canceled. So it's perfect. This is the best time to get yourself together. Let's just jump right in and see the 10 things that you can do to stay busy during quarantine. So number one is going to be to clean, clean your house, clean, deep clean, clean your stove, um, mop, you can mop, you can clean everything, anything. I have a cat. I clean his litter box. Actually, I just threw it away and bought a whole new litter box because I've had it for so long. Um, cleaning my bathroom, cleaning the baseboards, clean your makeup brushes, you know, reorganize things. Just do whatever you can. Clean everything because staying inside of a clean space is one of the number one things I like to do because that makes me feel productive. It's just very aesthetically pleasing and makes me feel like okay let me get up let me do something with my life let me be active i love when the house smells good i'll light a candle incense just i love everything looking nice and clean so number two is going to be self-care so self-care can mean giving yourself a facial putting on a mask you can um you can do bubble baths at any time of the day because we're at home 24 7. you can do a hair mask you can do anything you want just focus on self-care maybe meditate every morning when you get up whatever it may be this is your chance to focus on self-care me personally i have a lot of skincare products as you know and one thing that i noticed is that i only use skincare products when i absolutely need them so if i see a wrinkle or i see a pimple that's when i pull out my skincare products versus using them every day as you should to prevent these problems not address it when it's already there so this is the perfect time to 
begin a skincare regimen and keep it going so that once we come out of quarantine, you already have a routine that you're used to so you can just keep it going. Number two is going to be to sell your items. Anything that you have as far as clothing, skincare, perfume, whatever it may be, shoes, anything that you are not using anymore, organize your closet and sell those items on Poshmark. As I said earlier, I have a lot of skincare. I've actually sold um, a lot of the skincare that I'm not using anymore or that I found that uh, doesn't work for my skin. I've sold that online and y'all, I have made about $300 off of selling products on Poshmark. So y'all need to download Poshmark as soon as possible because those products are going to sit in your house. And you're not going to use them and you're just going to throw them away. No, you need to sell them and get some money back. Even if it's half of that, that's better than throwing it away and not getting anything. So sell those products, sell any clothes that you're not wearing, shoes, all of that, sell it. Pots, pans, sell it all. Okay, so number three is going to be read a book. I'm reading this book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I've actually have not even opened this book at all. I haven't even read the first page and I bought it like two weeks ago, but I will read it by the end of quarantine and I'll be able to tell you guys all about it. Get a book that relates to you something that will help you cope with whatever you're dealing with during this time maybe something that's entertaining such as a comic book whatever it may be or you could read the bible those of you that are religious about it those of you who have um not had time to focus on your faith this will be the perfect time to read the Bible. I definitely feel that during this time in quarantine, God is putting us all in a very uncomfortable position, which means staying at home and not knowing when we'll be let out. But it's the time for us to focus on ourselves and just recenter that focus, focus on goals, focus on whatever it may be besides work. For the first time in my life, I'm not, well, not first time in my life, but in my adult life, I'm not worrying about getting up in the morning to go to work, getting off of work and going back to work. So I do feel like quarantine is a blessing in disguise, whether you guys agree or not, just try to look at the positive of things. Number six is going to be to start journaling. So you know, we are all living through a pandemic right now, and this will be in history books. This is going to be something, if you have children, your children are going to ask, were you alive when Corona was going on? So, you know, go ahead and start writing this down. This is day whatever, and I'm sitting in the house, and I'm happy, and the weather is nice. You should write these things down just to be able to look back and say, I lived through a pandemic. Another thing that you can do, which is a part of reflecting, is to create a manifest book where you're going to write down all the things that you would like to see in the future. You speak them into existence. You write it down. You put it in your book and you keep it moving. You remove that self-doubt. And when you're writing in this book, you're going to write as if it's going to happen so you're not asking god or you're not writing these things down saying i hope or i wish you're saying i'm thankful for x y and z i'm thankful for abc whatever it may be that you would like to see in the near future the next thing you can do is also and this is all going to be a number six of just reflecting so the next thing that you can do is have a dream book so i don't know about you guys but lately i've been having very weird dreams that i actually remember because i don't have an alarm waking me up in the morning so i've been having these dreams and i've also decided to go ahead and start a dream book so that i can record these dreams and just kind of you know reflect on them and see if what if they happen in the near future, if they already happen, or what does this mean? I do think it will be a great time to get a dream book if you don't already have one. 
the, so the last thing that you can do as far as reflecting is figure out your productivity hours. So I, so basically your productivity hours are going to be the hours that you are most productive. Um, you can find that within the 24 hour day. Personally, my productivity hours are between nine and two. That's when I get the most done. That's when I can work out. Um, that's when I'm, I wake up naturally on my own. You know, I don't have an attitude, anything like that. I'm ready to do some work. After two o'clock, I want to take a nap. So, and yours may be right when you wake up. Some people, their hours of productivity may be 11 at night. It may be three in the morning. It just all depends. Once you figure out your hours of productivity, you want to put your major task in those hours of productivity so that the job gets done. So for example, I wouldn't make a YouTube video at eight o'clock at night because that just takes, I would be tired by then. I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't be motivated to do it. So for me, it's better to do it at 12 o'clock or one o'clock when uh, my energy is high and those are my productivity hours. So yes. Okay, so, all right, number seven. Number six was really long. I had a lot of subcategories in that reflection one. But anyways, number seven is going to be to work out. Work out every day because you do not want to come out of quarantine looking like you were in quarantine, just huge and out of shape, or you gain more weight. Um, you Unless you want to gain more weight, then yes. But work out, stay in shape. This is the perfect time to lose weight if you would like um, and just be able to focus on your workout goals because nothing, there's no excuse. There's no excuse as far as I just got my hair done. I don't want to sweat it out. I have to go to work. I'm tired. I just got off work. I'm tired. There's no excuse because I'm good for an excuse. So this is the perfect time to work out. I would recommend there are YouTube videos that you can watch online just 30 minutes a day. There are a lot of people online on social media who are doing live courses that you can do so i would recommend joining those you can also just go outside and go for a walk so definitely take advantage of this opportunity to work out and get in shape number eight is going to be try a new recipe um try a new recipe try a new diet whatever you like to do Try to motivate yourself to try to cut out something. So if you really like sweets, cut that out. For me, I really like cheese. So I try to limit cheese to twice a week instead of almost every other day. So that's what I'm working on because personally, I don't really eat sweets that much. Try a new recipe or cut something out. Number nine is going to be get strategic with your money. Currently, I signed up with Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, and it has a 14-day trial. And then after that, I think it's, I don't know how much because I didn't look at that part. But they have a lot of videos about, you know, how you should use your money and what should you be doing with it. So I'll probably make a video about how I'm doing with those steps. But that's something you can do as far as figuring out what to do with your money this is the perfect time to do research on what you should be doing with your money instead of sh online shopping and spending it all on food you could be saving it you could be investing it you could be paying off debt you could be saving for an apartment or a car or a trip that you want to take once we get out of quarantine Whatever it may be, just set goals and be strategic with your money. Number 10 is going to be pick up a craft. So for me personally, I would like to learn how to do knotless braids. So that's going to be my task. Hopefully by the end of quarantine, I can make a video of myself with knotless braids. I'll be really happy if I can do that. But yes, pick up a craft, whether that's learning how to cook, um learning how to do a new hairstyle doing your own nails 
whatever the case, doing your own eyebrows, whatever the case may be. Definitely just find one craft, even if it's a new skill as far as learning how to speak a different language. So I actually know some Japanese, but um, I kind of forgot it because I don't live in Japan anymore and there's no need to speak it. But I'm actually looking into learning Japanese again because I already know it and it'll just be easier to pick up and just start practicing. So it's going to be my goal to learn Japanese again and to learn how to do knotless braids. So hopefully I'll have something for you guys at the, at the end of quarantine. And I have a bonus one. So number 11 is going to be to make sure you call your family and friends, whether it's FaceTime. I know they have Zoom. I never tried out Zoom yet, but Zoom, FaceTime, WhatsApp, if your friends live out of the country, whatever it may be, everyone appreciates a phone call. So if you haven't talked to someone in a long time and you want to call them, just touch bases with them. I definitely recommend you doing that. All right, y'all, so that is going to be the 10 things, actually 11 things that you can do during quarantine to stay busy. And I just want you guys to remember to stay positive during all of this and just focus on the blessings that you can stay home, focus on yourself and relax, sleep, do nothing, be productive, whatever it may be. But focus on the blessings, focus on the positives. Soon we will all be able to say, we live through a pandemic, which is a blessing because I've never heard anyone say they live through a pandemic. So you'll be the first and you'll be able to tell your kids, your grandkids all about coronavirus and what it once was. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what craft you guys are going to pick up during quarantine. All right, guys, before you go, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment what is going to be your quarantine craft. And also, if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.